We're getting ready for the first ever Super GT 300 kilometers of Suzuka. It's the fan festival and there are the fans. The GT 500 cars are lined up in good order. The lights are green and we are racing for the first time in Mi Prefecture. And as you see the tyre, they're still struggling for tyre temperatures, those Hondas, but they've got to look out for Nick Cassidy going round the outside into turn one, buttonholes, second position. Cassidy has looked for a gap round the outside. Has he made it? Yes, he has. Cassidy round the outside, he's picked off one Honda. Now he's lining up the second Honda of Jensen Button. He's going to have him quite quickly. These Hondas are really struggling for tyre temperatures. As the GT300 field gets underway, their light goes green. Will they pass before the start finish line? The 86 is trying to go round the outside of the Lexus, but Hatsune Miku is coming up the inside, doesn't quite make that stick before his slam shot rather crudely. Holding for a lady. And the Subaru BRZ holding in fourth position. All square in a GT300. I'll keep watching that, Rob. You keep an eye on GT500 because it's getting spicy there. A good start from Jan Mardenborough. He's moved up a position, gone from sixth position up to fifth, Sam. So uh, Jan. Um, right in the mix of that bunch that we're looking at now, headed by here by Jensen Button. And there's the famous red car number 23. Ronnie Kintarelli made another one of his good starts. Obviously, he was on the back of the GT500 field, starting in 15th. Remember, he's carrying 54 kilos of uh, success ballast. He's carrying a, 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 a medium-sized child or a, or a fully grown grid girl with him in oh, terms of weight. I think that's literally what he is doing. But here comes, I think it's Heike Kovalainen at the wheel of the Denso sponsored Lexus. It is indeed, and he's trying to get a run on Heike Kovalainen, but behind them, just keep an eye out, that's James Rossiter. And he is not known for being reticent. No, no taking of course, Kintarelli, having that fuel flow restriction, Sam, as well, will just be slightly less um, quick down the straights as well, so uh, leaves him vulnerable from uh, from attack and as we've seen on many many occasions before look at this battle for position we've got four five six gt500 cars there side by side meanwhile this battle for position at the tail of the gt500 field is uh, uh, led at the moment by um, uh, jp Oliveira as we see uh, Nakajima still pushing really hard on the back of the Honda ahead of him. Uh, they're coming round turn 10 into the hairpin here at 11. Like, look at Kaz. Oh, he's up on the kerb. He's been squeezed up onto the kerb yeah. by, the, uh, uh, by the, the black and yellow GTR there. And, uh, well, the number 23 GTR GT500 has actually made a great move through that pack because he's now in front of both of his teammates the forum engineering car and the craft sport so Ronnie Kinterelli really making moves there championship leader getting up through the pack and he's now hunting down the wet sport car and the Zinsaruma so we could see those Michelin tyres on the number 23 coming into their own not so much for the craft sports car that's just lost the position to the Lexus back there the wet sport Lexus has now got him but look drafting down the back straight it's Nissan on Nissan action here and this is where the fuel flow restriction will be hampering Kintarelli a little at the end of these long straights where the car just runs out of puff ever so, ever so slightly as they make their way through the final chicane then the long right-hander at turn 18 down onto the front straight. So we haven't really been seeing James Rossiter's moves but he has, as predicted, worked his way through the pack and he's hunting down now the number 23 Motul Ortec GTR itself hunting down the Zentsurumo. Bit of debris there in a not very good place in 130R as the AU Tom's Lexus is held up by the D-Station Porsche, but that would have helped out the Motor Nortec car, but the Audi's just in the wrong place, and there's James Rossiter right on the tail of them. Trouble for Heike Kovalainen, and he's lost it in the Degnas. So they coming out of the second Degna, um, uh, he's parked it. He's got the safety car board out. Off the, yeah, the marshal there holding the safety car board, as you can see, one of the other marshals waving the green flag, but no, coming out of the second Degna at turn nine, uh, where the traffic is would be to our right here. And there's the safety car. Yeah, pit lane closed, safety car out, and yeah. I think we'd be bordering on unachievable if you did stop now, you'd have to stop for a splash and dash at the end of the race. And now uh, here Cassidy. comes Cassidy. And Marderborough as well is on the back of the other NSX. It's going to be blue car on blue car on blue and white car. And Cassidy says outside, they're going to touch. Not quite. But sees him coming in. Great aggressive racing from New Zealand there. Oh, big shunt for the number 26. 
Honda NSX, and where's that? That's the entry. That's Degna One. Uh, no, it's De yeah. So he's dropped it out of Degna One and gone so straight in at Degna Two. Impact. Uh, it's a big impact. I think that will be another safety car. Oh, brilliant to see. Some. Brilliant to see the driver climbing out. The car doing its job okay. Oh, this we maneuver. didn't see this. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know which of the drivers was, but went hard into the back of the Forum Engineering GTR. And I suspect that was Rossiter, actually, earlier in the race. There is Daiki Sasaki, right on the back of the uh, um, Kahin car. Who's driving that? The Kahin. Yeah, the, um, the gentleman whose name is on the screen there. Who's Tsukakoshi. Tsukakoshi, very good. Yeah. Sasaki looking really uh, aggressive, coming through the clipping point of turn 11, the hairpin there. Flash of the lights from Tsukakoshi. Tsukakoshi. No, I'm nowhere near. Sorry. It will be the it will be the Kahin NSX from my perspective. Sasaki losing a little bit behind the RCF there though at uh, the top of the hill, turn 14. Look how close they are. Mintzilla has held them up. The minty green Nissan GTR and GT3 hundreds has got out of the way, but it, that was beneficial to Yamamoto. Clearly, the Motul Ortec GTR is sitting in fifth position. But Segiuchi is not willing to let that stand. Fifth position from the back of the grid, carrying 54 kilos of ballast with that fuel flow. What a result from the 23 car. Oh, and they did they touch? That's well, they will very, do in a minute. Very, very close coming out uh, through turn 14 onto the back straight. And they are side by side into 130R, but the AU Tom's car has the advantage. But will Suge Matsuda have a run down into the chicane? It's a good overtaking spot, but it's difficult to do. He's not going to do it because, but quite rightly, the AU Tom's car went defensive. Ah, the AU car going off on the exit of turn seven. GT500 cross. Uh, so has that allowed Matsuda back through? Must have done. Into fifth. Look at this battle going on down the back straight. It's the blue car versus the AU Tom's car. The blue car has got in front of the AU Tom's car. Where is the number 23? Oh, he's gone off on the way in. He's trying everything. Can't. Oh, they touch. Unbelievable. Who's going to cross the line first? That's got to be a moral hazard. It's the it's the blue car. I think the the Prius is going to get in front and stop the, the Tom's car from turning in. There we go. The Calsonic car comes out uh, on the correct side of that one. The AU car looked very aggressive on the way down into the final corner. Big last lap lunge, but the Calsonic car keeps that valuable fourth position and a great finish there. P4 for Nissan. Well done. Great result for Calsonic, actually. Fourth position and a stunning finish. First position. There's, there's the car. Get through the fence. There you go. We're first. Good picture that isn't it there's some very happy drivers and there is the race results Alter NSX takes victory for Nigeri and Izawa two seconds ahead of Jensen Button and, and Naoki Yamamoto in the 100 Raybrick NSX keeper Tom's LC500 third position first of the Nissan's brilliant result actually fourth position for the Calsonic Import GTR the AU Tom's LC500 and fifth the Motul Ortec GTR the red car sixth position that's great for championship points the Craft Sports Motul GTR seventh eighth position is Zentsurumo LC500 ninth is the Forum Engineering Advan GTR the Nissan's really came through the field during mm. this race yes really did I, I, I was expecting them to really struggle given their um, weight penalties and the um, uh, fuel flow restriction. And there is the GT300 result. The K-Tunes RCF we just saw, Nita and Nakayama taking victory over the Hoppy 86, the Subaru BRZ from R&D Sport, Ikiuchi and Yamuchi at that. But the Manipa Lamborghini, Sintium Lexus, the Up Garage 86 and the Leon and Hatsune Miku, Good Smile, AMG Mercedes all battled for that victory in the closing laps. Everybody else was a lap down, headed by a Prius. Great result, though, in 14th position for the Saitama Toyo Pet Green Brave Mark X MC. That car has been pretty rubbish throughout the... Well, since it was introduced, but it's actually a really good result for them. The Sintium Lotus Evora finishing just at one place ahead of that started on the back of the grid and didn't really run because it got smashed up. Here are the championship points, though. Jensen Button and Naoki Yamamoto now lead the Super GT Championship just one point ahead of the Motul Ortec GTR driven by Sugeo Matsuda and Ronnie Kintarelli. Hirakara and Nick Cassidy some way back in third position. This is going to be a tight championship battle now, isn't it? 
in uh, GT300. Sean Walkinshaw still leads the series with uh, Takagi in the 55, the orange BMW, but Suboy and Matsui in the 25 Hoppy 86 have now matched them on championship points. And then one point behind them is Nakayama and Takobayashi. And then Morio Nitta, who's just won today's race with Nakayama in that Lexus in fourth. It's going to be so tight all year now, isn't it? Here are the winners of the 300 kilometers of Suzuka. It's the Arta Autobatch team. I think we're going to see tears on the podium. There's a bloke from the southwest of England. Well, Nick Cassidy there. Some some weird. There is something a little creepy about the bizarre animal in the dinner jacket. Yeah, he looks very happy about it as well. No, is our still fending off the tears? He looks very happy. I mean, it's his first race win for quite a long long time, isn't it? Yeah. Nick Cassidy's gonna look relieved. We need to cut into the yeah. podium. We need to see the look of relief on his face that he doesn't have. To. Oh, he's just gone straight. He's just deck it. he's necking it. Oh no, it's not. He, they actually did genuinely. The keeper Tom's drivers, Cassidy, did practice champagne spraying. Oh, Cassidy, he's going for a shoey. Oh, he's going for oh, a that's, shoey. That's oh no, that's no, rank. no, that's just disgusting. Oh, Can't oh, believe Jan Mardemer has to share a house oh. with him. Oh, he's having a, he's, he's refilling it. He's going for another. One. He's going to make other people drink it, is he? Oh, he's pouring it over his teammate's head from the shoe. Can you imagine the bacteria? Oh, he's going to put it back on. He's putting yeah. the shoe back on. Which yeah. is, oh, it's lucky the next race isn't till isn't till July. The start was uh, pretty cool. I had a good run down the pitch straight into turn one, and then tried around the outside, and I I was kind of okay on the apex, but then mid corner the car started to slide. I'm like, <laughs> I managed to catch it, and uh, yeah, you know, stayed in P5, and uh, we didn't quite have the ultimate pace because I was falling back a little yeah. bit but uh, the pit stop to Daiki was great and then um, Daiki did a cool job as well yeah. and um, finished fourth yeah. one of the, good. so good points this has been Nismo TV don't forget to join us on July the 1st for more Super GT action hit like and subscribe and come back and join us for live Blanc Pan Endurance Series from Silverstone at 2.30pm local time